I want to show you my favorite rock, and it's called a peridotite. It's very nice and green, and it's the most common uh, rock on Earth. Uh, it goes here in Houston from 30 kilometers deep, which is just beneath the crust, and it goes all the way down to the core mantle boundary, 3,000 kilometers uh, deep. And so I have this piece from great depths here. Um, it's, although the most common, is quite rare to find because it's down deep. But sometimes when you have volcanic eruptions, it brings pieces of the mantle up in these peridotite xenoliths. So this, this is the xenolith, and this uh, black stuff around here is the basaltic lava that brought it uh, up. Okay, pretty cool. And um, the, what makes it green is there's a mineral called olivine. Most of these light green minerals are olivine. It's a magnesium iron bearing silicate. Some of you are probably familiar with it, even if you're not a geologist, because in the gem quality form, when they're large and transparent like this, they're called um, peridot, which is the birthstone of August. So it's the best birthstone, I think. Now, um, sometimes these mantle rocks come to the surface in tectonic events, like mountain building events or in the mid-ocean ridges, and they interact with water. And when they do, they transform into this rock called serpentine, so this becomes this, something very hard from the mantle, then becomes something very soft like this. This is the state rock of California, serpentinite. And um, it's so weak that often the deformation localizes along it, so you find these often in faults. There's some groove marks here, slick sides, that show that this was uh, recording motion along the fault. Um, it's, you know, pretty cool. You go from this to that. So just to help you remember some of these, I wrote the poem long ago. It's called Green Green, Olivine. Peridot is when you're on show. Drops of water, sooner or later, you become serpentine. Okay, thanks.